Let's play part four. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap <clears throat> of composing in multiple dimensions, part 12 cluster. In today's episode, we created a cluster animation. We completed reference sheets and scores for two tetratonic parallel scales and started a tetratonic improvisation. <clears throat> we had discussions with resident bed warmer and a little bit with stay sick. How do you interpret, we asked them, composing in multiple dimensions? And one answer was consciously applying one medium to a conceptually separate medium, a conceptual adventure. And then another one was taking the notes C, D, E, F, G, A and making the notes H, I, J, and K, <laughs> which we kind of liked. That was kind of cool. So this is the cluster animation that we came up with. We haven't driven it with anything at the moment, but we did learn to use uh, masks, which we've been fooling around with here. So for example, we have basically we're, we're running the star field through masks. And if we turn off the masks like this, uh, they're all over the place. Like that. And then if we, uh, what we've done is we've made three circles, large, small, on each side and turned it into a mask. And then the mask, shuts everything out. So that's kind of cool. So we've ended up creating three identical star fields and but they're each slightly uh, displaced from the other. This one is cut off in half and spewing to the right and this one is cut off in half and spewing to the left and this one is not cut off at all and is coming out in the middle. So that was kind of fun working that out. <clears throat> we've kind of run into the wall once or twice or of confusion working with masks and you have to feed two signals into the mask in discussing what is multiple um, composing in multiple dimensions we reviewed this diagram again with people how there are you know if you think of x y and z axes which is a traditional 3d point of view uh, in a previous stream we composed a clickable chain and we demonstrated it to resident where you log into the world, move over to the avatar and walk all around the chain and click on it. And that uses interactive scripts. So now you have to have 3D object files and interactive scripts and we uploaded music. Um, what you just saw with the, the animation was an example of feed streams. In other words, you're taking a polygon and a star field, splitting them up into separate streams and then re-blending them feeding them finally into this final composite image. So a feed stream is another word for composite videos and things. Visual images are animations and RL sounds are scores, which you just heard a minute ago. Finally, text concepts is another element of our dimensions. Uh, in particular today, we spent a lot of time working on figuring out the reference scores and diagrams. For example, this is the reference sheet for the tetratonic scale 445. And this is it here. You can see we came up with eight chords and here they are. So this is the tetraton tetratonic scale. It has four notes in the mi main minor. four in the major and then it adds up to five when you put them together so we call that a four four five scale like this and then it came up with a bunch of chords here which you're going to hear in a minute then then well then we did a similar thing for this scale this is a four four six because it has four notes in the minor scale major and then you put them together and you get six and because it has uh, extra notes, 
um, it gets a lot more chords generated, which we did here. So what we're going to do is play, play, play the, uh, the kind of tetratonic improvisation, which is blending the two scales. Here's the two scales here and here. And we've just started an uh, annotating what is the, what's the energy story? What's, what are the chord functions? So what we like out of that is we just pretty much copied and pasted from the two reference areas, this one and this one. And we spent a bulk of today's stream on, these are zero. There was nothing here when we started. And there was nothing over here either when we started. That was a lot of cranking it out. Um, we already closed the other one. Uh, and we like how we ended up with a statens on the end. So. So anyway, that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to add a backbone and polyphon lines to this composition, further explore our cluster animation, see what we can do with that. Thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout out to resident bed warmer and stay sick and our perennial favorite, Mr. Spatz. You can almost always count on Mr. Spatz to drop by. Do return to our next stream. Take care, and as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>